Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining us today to learn about the West Florida Chapter Healthcare Program. My name is Karen Mayfield, and I'm the Executive Director of the West Florida Chapter of CAI. I will be your main point of contact for any questions about this exciting new program. I may not be able to answer all of your questions right away, but luckily we have partnered with the Small Association Leadership Alliance to make this program a reality, and they are a wealth of knowledge and answers. We are very excited to be able to offer the West Florida Chapter CAI healthcare program as a viable option for lowering healthcare costs in Sarasota, Manatee, and DeSoto counties. It is an alternative approach to solving a real problem in our community, and we are glad you're here today to learn more about, about the program. I encourage you to watch this webinar and then explore the documents on our website at www.caiwestflorida.org. You will also see my contact info and at the end of the webinar, so please don't hesitate to use it. Now I'd like to turn it over to Kevin Kennedy with the Small Association Leadership Alliance. Thank you, Karen, and welcome everyone. Uh, the, the healthcare program we're gonna talk about today uh, had two main priorities when, when we developed it. One, it had to be available to all members in all 50 states. And while all of you are, or most of you are based there in Florida, it is a program that can truly travel with you. Uh, the second priority is that it had to reduce costs in a meaningful way. The program we're talking about today is really an effort to simplify what has become so complex with our healthcare in the country. It's a high-end affordable healthcare solution that offers a great choice of affordable healthcare options. It also offers a great uh, rates and lowers healthcare costs on average by about 60% nationwide. The program we're talking about is an alternative approach to traditional health insurance. What we've done is we've partnered with several groups to bring this offering to you. The two main partners are Apex Management Group and Sidera Health. When folks log on, they will first choose a plan from Apex Management Group. There are two plans to choose from, an Advantage plan and a Basic plan. I'll talk about both of those plans in some detail here today. But those plans cover your preventative care and your smaller needs, the, the, the flu and, and common cold type needs that we all have. You then pair that plan with the plan from Sidera Health. Sidera is a medical cost sharing company, and that the Sidera plans are used to cover unforeseen and significant medical expenses that we all run into. I'll talk about those plans in some detail here in just a minute, but uh, the Apex and Sidera plans really offer a comprehensive cost-effective alternative to traditional health plans. Let's talk first about Sidera. For those of you who are not familiar with medical cost sharing, it's been around since the 1980s and it always had a, a basis in uh, with religious groups. Certain congregations would get together and they'd form an organization wherein all the members of the congregation would share each other's medical costs. They would contribute a monthly amount to do so. Sidera is not a religious-based organization, but it takes those same principles and, and applies them to their cost-sharing organization. Sidera's parent company is actually called the Karis Group, and the Karis Group is a medical bill negotiating company that has also been around since the, the uh, late 1980s. Um, and oftentimes when Sidera has uh, larger bills uh, that all of us may incur, uh, those bills will be negotiated with the hospital. And I'll talk about that as well as we go through. But in general, Sidera's objectives are really all of our objectives. It's compliance and credibility, it's lowering our monthly expenses, and reducing our out-of-pocket costs. As you'll see as I go through, Sidera will save us money on the front end with a lower monthly cost, but also on the back end with a lower max out-of-pocket. Medical cost sharing, as I mentioned, is, is a proven alternative that dates back about 40 years. It offers big savings over health insurance. It's healthcare through community versus healthcare through insurance. As of the end of 2017, there were more than 1 million members, and they shared more than $1 billion annually. And we're told that has grown dramatically here in 2018. When you use Sidera, it also offers freedom from networks. So as a Sidera member, if you or, or someone in your family had a, a, an unforeseen medical expense or a significant expense where uh, you were going to share those expenses, say you had a, a broken leg, for example, you can go to any hospital you like or any specialist you like. You do not have to operate within a network when, with Sidera. Sharing begins at your IUA, which is your initial uncharitable amount. That's the amount you pay out of pocket. It's kind of similar to a deductible that we've all had on our traditional health insurance. 
Uh, here's a quick graph showing you how cost sharing has grown. Uh, you can see the uptick there in 2013, 2014, when all of our healthcare expenses really started to grow at an unsustainable rate. Uh, people really started looking for a proven alternative or a different way to get the healthcare that they need. Uh, the program we're talking about today has three components. Uh, it, it addresses large costs, which we're talking about in terms of needs, and that's surgery due to an accident or hospitalization, diagnostic imaging, a cancer diagnosis. Uh, it also handles small to medium costs, which, as I mentioned before, the cold and sinus infection and flu. And then, of course, preventative care. Uh, let's talk first about large costs and needs. And let's talk about, or let's define what a need is. A need is one or more medical expense caused by a single accident or illness. So as you can see on the graph on the left, this is an individual who broke their leg. There were the costs they incurred for the ride in the ambulance, the, the stay at the hospital, uh, perhaps surgery. There was diagnostic imaging and x-rays, crutches and pain medicine and physical therapy. All of those costs, and as we all know, it's not just one bill you receive, it's, it's 10 bills. Uh, but all of those costs, all of those bills are shared with the community. So if those bills totaled $10,000, you would submit all of those bills to Sidera to be shared. Your responsibility is that initial insurable amount, the IUA. You can choose a plan that either offers a $500, $1,000, $1,500, $2,500, or $5,000 IUA, and that's the amount you pay out of pocket. So if the total bills for the broken leg were $10,000 and you had the $1,500 IUA, you would pay $1,500. The, the balance would be shared with the community and, and paid uh, from community funds. Now, if you're single and you're a member, you're responsible for the first three such needs in any given year. If you're a family with the first five, if you go past those amounts, uh, you do not have to pay your IUA. They are shared 100%. As a practical matter, we all have far fewer than three as a single and less than five as a family in any given year, but it's nice to know that we have that additional level. Um, here's a simple or quick real life example of sharing in real life. Uh, this is a, a pretty common example of a, a young child with a persistent ear infection. Uh, the family had a $5,000 insurance deductible, and after a series of, of doctor visits, they finally went to an ENT who inserted tubes into the child's ears. On the left, you can see the traditional health insurance model that we're all familiar with, with the uh, co-pays and prescriptions, and then finally the cost for the surgery. And the family had a total out-of-pocket cost of around 2500 On the right, with Sidera uh, uh, and the medical cost sharing, you can see that their IUA was set at $500 here, and that's what the amount the family had to pay. The balance was paid from Sidera uh, funds. Uh, let's talk about some nuances to the plan. Uh, and that's membership and medications and pre-existing conditions. Let's first talk about medications. There are basically two types of medications we all take. There are curative medicines and maintenance medicines. The curative medicines we take, they have an end date. There, there's a time in which we're going to stop taking that medicine. So it could be antibiotics or pain meds or chemotherapy drugs, but they are medicines that we take to cure us from whatever our, our ailment is. Those drugs are wrapped up in that need, much like the ex, the uh, scenario I explained earlier with the broken leg and the individual who took pain medicine there. The cost for those medicines are shared with the community. The second type of medicines we all take are maintenance medicines, such as blood pressure medicines, cholesterol medicines. I take medicines for my rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, this program offers several different ways for those medicines to be paid for. The first is Apex, which if you recall at the beginning, you, you would first, when you sign up, choose an Apex plan, and the Advantage plan offers prescription coverage, and I'll talk about that in a few minutes. Uh, but that's how my prescriptions are covered, for example, and how many people's prescriptions are covered. Uh, another alternative for folks is GoodRx. GoodRx is a, a company that offers great discounts nationwide. You may have seen some of their advertisements on TV. Then for folks who take a, a pretty strong regimen, if you will, of, of maintenance-type medicines, they may want to look into Liberty Benefits. It's an add-on for $27.50 per month, but it offers great discounts. So for those of us who take uh, maintenance medicines or medicines on a regular basis, such as myself, there is a little bit of responsibility we have to take on here to find the best program or the best way within the program to pay for those drugs. But as you'll see, uh, the Apex plan offers great coverage for the majority of us. Uh, members signing up for Sidera do choose to live a healthy lifestyle. They believe that smart choices such as diet, exercise, and lifestyle can greatly improve one's quality of life. And members commit to strive to strive to live a healthy and balanced lifestyle. That's obviously not legally bind, binding, but it is something that members commit to. Obviously, the, uh, the our own benefit to live a healthy, longer life, but it also keeps the cost down for the community. 
Members do commit to not use illegal drugs and not operate a vehicle while intoxicated. Now, as a practical matter, what that means is if you are driving while intoxicated, you get into an accident and you have medical bills, you cannot share those bills with the community. So again, there's the personal responsibility that folks take on when they become members of Sidera. Also for folks who are tobacco users, there's a $75 surcharge per month. So if you're still a smoker, uh, perhaps another good reason to quit. And as you can see, there are the fine print on the bottom, tobacco users age 50 and older have a $25,000 per need sharing limit. But the top four diseases associated with tobacco usage, which is heart disease, stroke, COPD, and cancer. Um, let's talk about pre-existing conditions, and this is perhaps the most important slide. It was for me when I when I signed up and, and got to know the program. Uh, now, if you have some common pre-existing conditions, that's, such as the ones listed on top, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, sleep apnea, or non-insulin dependent diabetes, uh, and they're well controlled, they do not have any sharing restrictions. It's, it's not a problem. They are they are very common, and, and when well controlled, not an issue. If you have other uh, pre-existing conditions, such as myself with my rheumatoid arthritis, there are sharing restrictions. So what that means is if a need developed from your pre-existing condition, such as from my rheumatoid arthritis in year one, I could not share any of those expenses with the community. In year two, I can share up to $15,000. Year three, $30,000. After that, it's fully shareable. Um, so when you sign up with Sidera, there's a three-year look back, as you can see there on the left. So when I signed up, I had to tell my head rheumatoid arthritis. Now, my pre-existing condition is much like high blood pressure or high cholesterol. I take my medicine weekly and I see my rheumatologist a few times a year. So for me, joining it was not an issue. If I had an active cancer, for example, or if my spouse was pregnant, now would not be the time to switch. Now would not be the time to join Sidera because there would obviously be an event in year one that would create a financial burden for me and my family. So for those of us that have pre-existing conditions, we just need to be aware of this page, or, uh, of the restrictions on this page, and perhaps even talk to your doctor before uh, switching. Uh, so those are the large costs. The unexpected costs, surgery from an accident, hospitalization from an illness, emergency room visits, a cancer diagnosis, that's how the large costs are handled here uh, with this program. Again, your responsibility is that IUA that you choose, uh, and the rest of the costs are shared with the community. So let's now talk about the small to medium cost, cold, the size infection, the flu, all the run of the mill stuff that we all have throughout the year at, at different points. Uh, the program handles this in several different ways. The first is the one I'm most excited about, and that's telemedicine. Uh, included with this program is a partner called Teladoc, which is the largest provider of telemedicine in the US. An interesting fact about telemedicine is that in 2015, uh, less than 25% of Fortune 500 companies offer telemedicine. As of the end of 2017, it was almost 75% who offered telemedicine. Telemedicine is exactly what it sounds like. You're able to connect with a doctor virtually, either through your computer or over the phone, and it's free. There's no charge here. And you tell the doctor what your symptoms are. Let's say you had a, a flu or, or, or some sort of condition and you need a Z-Pack. Uh, the doctor can actually send a prescription to your local pharmacy, and you can simply pick it up. Now, for me, it's a great time saver because it means I don't have to go down to urgent care or I don't have to make an appointment with my primary. I can simply connect virtually and not even leave my desk uh, to do so. Um, also included is Second MD, which is uh, exactly what it sounds like. It's a way for us all to get second opinions on anything us or our family are going through uh, from some of, the, some of the nation's top doctors. They practice at places like Johns Hopkins and the Mayo Clinic. And if you uh, are having an elective surgery, so there it does require you to get a second opinion and use Second MD, which of course makes a lot of sense. Um, also includes a member advisor or coach who can help with a number of things that you see listed there as well. Uh, but now I'm going to switch gears because like I said in the beginning, when you sign up, the first thing you're going to do is actually choose the Apex plan that best fits you and your family. And Apex offers coverage uh, for small to medium costs and also preventative care. Uh, your annual physical, your flu shot, birth control, child wellness visits, etc. cetera. So uh, there are two great options to choose uh, with Apex. So the first option to choose would be the high deductible health plan, the HDHP or basic MEC plan, that's minimal essential coverage. That offers 100% coverage for all your preventative care needs. You can see them listed there, 21 for adults, 28 for women, 31 for children, that's yearly physicals, vaccinations, colonoscopies, mammograms, those are covered 100%. Um, this, this plan provides a framework for a health savings account because anything else that you or your family go through would be paid for by you out of pocket. 
Uh, but you would be doing so with a health savings account and pre-tax dollars that you put away. And for folks who aren't familiar with a health savings account, uh, this sheet here uh, explains it pretty well. Contributions are 100% tax deductible. They can be used for dental, vision, prescription, doctor visits, and they can also be used to pay your IUA with Sidera. So for folks who don't go to a doctor on a regular basis or are in generally good health, this is a great option for them. It's a great way to put away pre-tax dollars for when a medical event occurs and to pay for that event with, with pre-tax dollars. Um, for folks like myself, uh, who does see a doctor on a regular basis and takes prescriptions, uh, the Advantage plan is the plan I went with. And that's the second option here with APEX. So once again, it's 100% coverage for all the preventative care needs. It's 21 for adults, 28 for women, 31 for children. Uh, and that, but then it has the co-payment structure that many of you might be familiar with. So if you go to your primary care physician, it's a $20 copay. If you go see your specialist, such as when I see my rheumatologist, it's a $50 copay. Urgent care, $50 as well. So this is a great program for someone like myself who sees a doctor on a regular basis, although I do, will admit I plan on using Teladoc as often as I can and not seeing my primary care or urgent care often at all. Uh, but it also offers prescription coverage. So I, I do take my maintenance medicine for my rheumatoid arthritis, and it's covered as, as a generic. And as you can see here, they have tier one, tier two, two generics, and tier three preferred brand names. Uh, and it goes up from there. Um, so for folks who have prescriptions uh, and take them on a regular basis, uh, the Advantage plan offers out prescription coverage that many of us need. So that's the reason why I chose the Advantage plan, because I do take prescriptions and because I do have to see a specialist a few times a year. Now, when I mentioned, when I first talked about Sidera, I mentioned how you do not have to operate within a network. You can go to any hospital or specialist you want uh, when you have any significant or unforeseen expenses that, that would, um, where you would use Sidera. Uh, when you're using the, your Apex coverage, you have to operate within the multi-plan network. Now, the multi-plan network is actually one of the largest networks in the U.S. Uh, there are more than 900,000 participating providers. Uh, and all of these directions that you see here are on the, uh, the West Florida CAI website. Uh, but you do have to operate uh, within the network if you go to see your primary care physician or if you go to see your specialist. So when, when I joined, I, I made sure that there was a rheumatologist in network. In fact, my rheumatologist was in network and then also obviously a primary care physician. So when I go for a physical, I, I have to see uh, the doctor that's in network. Um, so let's talk prices. Uh, so when you sign up, you can either choose the high deductible plan with the HSA that we talked about or the Advantage plan that has the co-payment structure and prescription coverage on the right. Down on the left, you can see member only, which would obviously be just the individual, member and spouse, member and children, or member in the entire family. For the basic MEC plan, you can see it starts at $71.40 and goes to $102. For the Advantage plan, it starts at $144. 59 cents per month and goes up from there. And you'll see the arrow I have next to the 144.59. That's because that's the plan I am on. Uh, and again, I have the advantage plan for the reasons I discussed. Uh, you then choose the IUA that best fits you and your family. Uh, again, you can choose either a 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,500, or $5,000 IUA. And you can see all of these on the CAI West Florida website. Down on the left, you have member only, member spouse, member and children or member in the entire family. And across the top, it's by age, those in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. And again, I have the red arrow next to the plan I'm on. Uh, I'm in my 40s. I chose the $1,500 IUA just because that's kind of middle of the road and amount I'd be comfortable with should I have an unforeseen event. That would be the amount I'm responsible to pay for. So my monthly cost is $320.10, which offered a significant savings over the plan I was on when I was with the exchange. Now, on the CAIWestFlorida.org website, you can find all the current rate sheets, the Sidera Plan Overview and Sharing Guide, details on the APEX plans. There's a great frequently asked question on the telemedicine, as well as an overview of Second MD and the multiple and provider search that you would need to check uh, for your primary and any specialists that you might see. Uh, a quick summary of the offering. Again, it's available in all 50 states, so it's a program that can travel with you. Uh, it does not need an employer sponsor, so individuals can join. It can, it's available to full-time, part-time, seasonal workers, hourly or salaried staff. And the cost can be paid by the individual, the employee, or by the employer. If the employer would like to sign up, they can do a, a payroll deduction as you do with your, your traditional health insurance and, and uh, pay the bills to their employees. Obviously, it's a terrific benefit to offer folks. 
And as I said, the average savings we're seeing uh, is right around 60%. And that varies uh, pretty dramatically by, by where you live and also the, the plan that you choose um, when signing up. So um, that's the program. We certainly thank you for your time. As you can see here is the contact info for Karen. Also the call center for any questions you might have or any support you might need. And an email for any general inquiries you may have. Feel free to email or, or call those numbers at any time. Once again, we, we certainly thank you for your time and I'm going to uh, turn this back over to Karen. Thanks so much, Kevin. Um, thanks again for joining us today. We hope that you're as excited about this program as we are. Please take some time to explore our website at www.caiwestflorida.org. It has a lot of in-depth information about Sedera and Apex, as well as plan details, rate sheets, provider search, and frequently asked questions. And of course, please don't hesitate to reach out to our team at the West Florida Chapter CAI office. We're here to help.